if we look at the history and traditions of the Black community, we know that the church has been played a huge part in that, building community and also in the representation, the number of people in the Black community who still believe, especially in Christianity. Part of that is attributed to having said religion forced on the enslaved Africans, uh, as well as, uh, again, their their children and their, and their descendants. And uh, part of the problem with that belief and why so many still believe in it is because it is a it is a serious paradox. You know, this is the religion that pretty much enslaved us. This is the institute. This is the religion that is responsible for institutional uh, racism, white supremacy, and and other uh, and, and other um, things that we deal with, other disparities. And so, for our communities to hold it in such high regard, it's a bit disheartening to. See see so many still hold on to the church as being almost the sole sense of representation or support within the Black community. We've been working towards this, that we take our rightful place within our communities because we've always been there. W.E.B. Du Bois, for example, who was one of the co-founders of the NAACP. And we see that that is an organization that is still very highly religious, even though their foundations are rooted in free thought. Uh, We also look to Dr. Carter G. Woodson, who was the founder of Negro History Week, uh, which later turned into Black History Month. He was also a, a critic figure in uh, in free thought and, and challenging religion. Uh, we can also look to um, people like Lorraine Hansberry, Zora Neale Hurston, and Butterfly McQueen, who openly stated her atheism uh, and strongly stated it. And so these are often the people who either are forgotten about or that aspect of their legacy is omitted. It is part of our duty as an organization and as people who are representing secularism, atheism, and non-belief to re-educate folks on this history. When we look at those who come out of religion, those who were fundamentally religious, and they, they, they go up against their churches, they go up against their communities and start questioning the cost to them can be great and and it can be grave. And there are many who have lost their communities, uh, especially if they grew up Jehovah's Witness. You know, you're you're excommunicated when you start questioning those beliefs and which can be um, very emotionally traumatic. It can be mentally traumatic. And this is what has been important about us building those communities and those safe spaces for people to know that they aren't alone it is important for, no, for them to know that they can build a new family and a new support system out of it. 